Hi and welcome back to Garden Ninja. Now today's video is a really exciting one because I'm going to be giving you a sneak peek behind the scenes of a show garden that I've been asked to design. Now the BBC Northwest have asked me to design the show garden this year at RHS Tatton and the theme is community gardens and I'm super excited to have been asked to design for them and this video is going to take you behind the scenes and show you the design that I'm going to start building next week. If you've not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit the red subscribe button below where you'll get access to over 120 garden design hints, tips and hacks. And best of all, it's free, so subscribe today. Now you may be asking, well what is a community garden? And I find them incredibly interesting. So a community garden is any green space that is managed by a group of people from different backgrounds and they may be growing their own fruit and veg, creating an orchard, providing a wildlife garden or even creating a garden where people can socialise and get away from their busy lives. So community gardening is all about bringing together different diverse groups, learning, growing and getting to know green spaces far better. There are also really safe spaces where people can relax, switch off and get away from their busy lives or issues that they may be having. So they're a fantastic garden design theme for this year's RHS Hatton. So the approach I've taken to this garden is to take inspiration from six of the different community gardens around the Northwest, and they couldn't be more different from each other, which is brilliant because it gives me loads of inspiration as to how to create this garden. So I've split up the plot into different zones, trying to incorporate key elements from each of these community gardens. So let's take a look at the design. I'm going to walk you through exactly why I've designed it the way it is. So with this garden, the majority of the materials that I'm choosing to use are reclaimed materials. And that's for two reasons. The first is that it's really important as designers that we can reuse, reduce and recycle when we're designing and showcase sort of secondhand materials in a gorgeous way. The second point is accessibility. So show gardens, whilst they are beautiful, sometimes can be a little bit too lofty and people might look at them and think, I love it, it's gorgeous but it's way out of my price range. So by using these materials that are readily available at a kind of the entry level cost, hopefully this garden will inspire people to have a go without worrying about the financial burden of having to buy in all these expensive materials. Now I've designed the garden into different mini zones and these are to represent the different groups of community gardens around the Northwest and kind of showcase the breadth and wealth of their knowledge. first area are the raised beds where we're going to be growing loads of different fruits and vegetables to show how these community gardens help solve some of the urban food shortages that we now see in cities by growing their own. Now the raised beds aren't huge but it will show you just how much you can pack into a small space. I've also decided to design in some inbuilt seating because what's better than growing your own fruit and veg and then being able to sit right inside the bed and have a natter with your friend or neighbour on the community garden. The next area of the garden is the social space and it's kind of like a hub for learning, socialising, relaxing or even just sitting down for 10 minutes and collecting your thoughts. And the whole design of this area is that I'm using these reclaimed scaffold boards to create this beautiful fence where we have some vertical planting. So we're not just planting in the ground and in the raised beds, we're going to take it up, showing how even if you've got a small walled garden, you can then plant on the vertical. We've got a gorgeous scaffold board table that shows that you can reuse these materials and create really beautiful bits of furniture. And this area is going to be cool, calm and collected, and there's going to be a few little nods to maybe some learning and growing and a few little props that will help sort of bring it to life and show you what you can do in a small space. And the third area is going to be the wildflower orchard. We've got a beautiful crabapple tree in there and some interesting little nods 
and little design tweaks that will show you how you can encourage wildlife, grow your own fruit, and just welcome a whole diverse range of insects, bees, and wildlife to your garden. And that's the bit that's really exciting, is showing how even on a small scale, you can create these beautiful wildflower gardens. The whole thing's gonna be surrounded with really soft, gentle, pollen-rich planting. I've also made sure that the paths are wide enough that we can fit in, say, a wheelchair, a buggy, a big wheelbarrow, so it's completely accessible, regardless of how you want to get into the garden. What's even more fantastic is that the entire garden is being rehomed after the show, so there's going to be practically zero waste, which is something that is really important to me. So there we have it, a quick sneak peek behind the scenes at my RHS BBC Northwest Community Garden this year. And I really can't wait to get started. So we start to build next week and then we've got about 12 days to get it from paper into the ground. So fingers crossed by the end of it, it looks something similar to the design render that I've painted up behind me. I've been Garden Ninja. If you like this video, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel where there are now hundreds of garden design hints, tips and hacks to help you make your garden awesome. I'd love to hear from you below. Make sure you subscribe so that you can follow the journey of this garden. I've been Garden Ninja. Happy gardening.